The concept of cocaine mummies refers to the surprising discovery of traces of cocaine along with nicotine in the hair of ancient Egyptian mummies. This finding challenges previous historical understandings because both substances are derived from plants native to the Americas, cocaine from coca leaves and nicotine from tobacco, which were believed to have been unavailable to the Egyptians before Columbus's voyages. The significance of this discovery lies in its potential implications for revising our understanding of ancient trade networks and interactions. It raises intriguing questions about whether there was transoceanic contact between the ancient Egyptians and the people of the Americas long before widely recognized historical timelines. Two noteworthy examples that illustrate this concept include the initial studies conducted by Dr. Svetlana Balabanova in the early 1990s. Her analysis of the hair of several mummies revealed the unexpected presence of these substances. Another example is the subsequent corroboration by other researchers who tested additional mummies, thereby validating her findings. These studies offer concrete evidence that demands a re-evaluation of established historical narratives. Supporters of this groundbreaking idea argue that these findings might suggest an ancient trade network that is hitherto unrecognized, potentially indicating that civilizations were more interconnected than previously assumed. This perspective could invite a broader investigation into other historical anomalies and the possibility of pre-Columbian transoceanic contact. Nonetheless, this topic is not without its controversies and alternative viewpoints. Skeptics question the methodology and potential contamination of samples, suggesting that the presence of these substances might be attributed to modern contamination rather than historical trade. Others propose that the results could stem from flawed testing procedures or misinterpretation of data. This mysterious discovery connects to broader discussions within the field of archaeology concerning the reach and scope of ancient civilizations. It influences ongoing debates about the diffusion of cultural and botanical knowledge, encouraging a re-examination of existing historical narratives. Moreover, this topic intersects with studies on other anomalous findings around the world that suggest pre-Columbian transoceanic contact, urging scholars to consider a more interconnected ancient world. Ultimately, the concept of cocaine mummies invites us to rethink our understanding of ancient history. It emphasizes the dynamic nature of historical knowledge and the importance of approaching past narratives with an open mind, appreciating that our current understanding might only be part of a much larger, more complex picture. The historical context of the discovery of cocaine traces in ancient mummies is a fascinating puzzle that challenges our understanding of ancient civilizations and their interactions. This concept revolves around the presence of cocaine and nicotine, substances native to the Americas, in Egyptian mummies, which predates any known contact between the Old World and the New World by thousands of years. This finding is significant as it raises questions about ancient trade routes, cultural exchanges, and the extensive reach of early civilizations, suggesting that the world was more interconnected than previously believed. One notable example that illustrates this point is the analysis conducted in the 1990s by Dr. Svetlana Balabanova and her team who discovered high levels of cocaine and nicotine in several Egyptian mummies. This was perplexing, given that both coca and tobacco plants are indigenous to the Americas. Another instance includes further forensic analysis and studies conducted on these mummies and others from similar regions, consistently showing the presence of these substances, adding more credence to the initial findings. Supporters of these findings argue that the presence of cocaine in these mummies suggests that ancient maritime trade routes might have existed, connecting the Americas with Africa long before Columbus's voyages. Some propose that ancient Egyptians could have had the means to conduct transoceanic voyages, possibly opening up a vast network of exchange much earlier than traditionally documented. However, these claims are not without their challenges and controversies. Skeptics question the methodology of the studies or propose contamination as a potential source of the substances found. Others argue that there might be unknown extinct plant species in Africa or Asia that contain similar alkaloids. Traditional historians generally dismiss these findings as anomalies due to the lack of supporting archaeological evidence of such early contact between the continents. This point ties back to the broader topic by encouraging a re-evaluation of historical assumptions regarding ancient civilizations' capabilities and interactions. It also influences ongoing debates about the extent of ancient exploration and cultural diffusion, urging scientists and historians to look deeper into the past with new technologies and perspectives. 
This intersection of history and science not only enriches our understanding of the ancient world, but also reflects on how global interactions have shaped human societies throughout time. The concept of the ancient trade networks, a link to the new world, refers to the vast and complex systems of trade routes that connected different civilizations across continents long before the modern era of globalization. These networks allowed the exchange of goods, cultures, and ideas across vast distances. When we consider the discovery of cocaine traces in ancient Egyptian mummies, these trade networks take on a crucial role in explaining how substances native to South America could make their way to regions so far removed from their origin. The significance of ancient trade networks in this context lies in their ability to demonstrate cultural and economic interactions between distant societies. Challenging the notion of isolated civilizations, the presence of New World plant residues such as cocaine in Egyptian mummies suggests the existence of trade connections between the Old and New Worlds long before Columbus's expeditions. This exchange raises intriguing questions about the scope and sophistication of ancient trade routes and communication. A notable example of such ancient trade networks is the Silk Road, which connected the East to the West, trading not only silk but also spices, precious stones, and ideas that shaped civilizations. Likewise, maritime routes across the Indian Ocean facilitated trade between Africa, the Middle East, and Asia, showing that ancient societies had the means for long-distance travel and trade. Supporters of this idea often argue that ancient civilizations were far more interconnected than traditionally believed, with trade networks providing evidence of early globalization. However, this perspective is not without its challenges and controversies. Critics question the mechanisms by which such long-distance trade could occur, given the technological and logistical limitations of the time. They also point to alternative explanations, such as contamination or misinterpretation of archaeological evidence. These ancient trade networks bear significant implications for our understanding of cultural exchanges in historical contexts. They challenge the Eurocentric narrative of exploration and discovery, suggesting a more interconnected ancient world where knowledge and goods traverse the globe long before the age of exploration. In examining the role of these networks in the cocaine mummy mystery, we gain insight into the dynamics of cultural contact and exchange. This understanding impacts other aspects of our main topic by broadening the narrative surrounding ancient civilizations and their interactions ultimately enriching our comprehension of human history's complexity. Such insights reshape our perception of ancient human capabilities and the interconnectedness of early societies. Chemical analysis and verification techniques are fundamental scientific methods used to identify and quantify the chemical composition of substances. These techniques are crucial in the investigation of the so-called cocaine mummies, where traces of cocaine and other New World plants like tobacco have been found in ancient Egyptian mummies. Chemical analysis allows researchers to determine whether these substances truly exist in the mummies, and to what extent, ensuring the authenticity of these findings and potentially reshaping our understanding of historical trade and cultural exchanges. The significance of these techniques in the context of ancient mummies is immense. Discovering cocaine in Egyptian mummies suggests the possibility of transcontinental contact between the old and new worlds much earlier than previously documented. Accurate chemical verification can thus challenge established historical timelines and theories, substantially impacting our perception of ancient civilizations. One real-world application of these techniques is gas chromatography mass spectrometry, GCMS, which separates and identifies compounds in a sample, providing conclusive evidence of the presence of specific alkaloids like cocaine. Another example is liquid chromatography mass spectrometry, LCMS which is particularly effective in analyzing complex biomolecules, allowing for the precise detection of minuscule traces of substances in ancient remains. Supporters of these findings argue that chemical analysis provides a scientific basis for re-evaluating historical narratives and encourages an open-minded approach to history. They assert that rigorous verification techniques lend credence to unconventional discoveries, fostering a more comprehensive understanding of ancient global interactions. However, the concept is not without its challenges and controversies. Some skeptics question the validity of the findings pointing to potential contamination of samples or errors in analysis. Others suggest that while chemical evidence might suggest the presence of cocaine, it does not necessarily confirm. Direct contact between the continents, 
as similar compounds could have been synthesized or transported via indirect routes. Despite these debates, chemical analysis and verification connect deeply with other aspects of the study of ancient mummies. They provide a foundational framework for interdisciplinary research, bridging the gap between archaeology, anthropology, and chemistry. This intersection not only enhances our understanding of past human behavior, but also prompts further exploration of how interconnected our ancient world might have been. As new techniques develop, our ability to probe deeper into the past will undoubtedly grow, potentially unveiling secrets that have been buried for millennia.